Alright, so what's going on guys? It's uh, Devin's GFX here. And I'm going to be doing a After Effects tutorial about, um, what's it called? Adding color correction to backgrounds that you made in Photoshop. So, uh, first thing, uh, what a lot of people don't know is you can actually import PSDs, like Photoshop files, uh, straight to After Effects. Not responding, whatever. But like I'm saying, it's uh, you can import um After Effects files. You don't have to save uh it as a JPEG or a PNG file first, and then um, and then import it into After Effects. So that's just a quick tip if you don't want to add in memory or you know do the process of saving it or whatever. So okay, um, just gonna get a PNG. I mean, it's called PSD. Sorry. Computer's a little slow. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna get a PSD or something. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sure. And usually on other files, it wouldn't let you um, import it. Like, it'll just say uh, format not like you're not able to import the format but with this you can see it has the little blue icon has says Photoshop right there so you can just uh, drop it down here to your composition and uh, will fit yeah so now you probably gonna need magic bullet looks or you can use um, other effects like you can do different color corrections with the standard ones but I have uh, magic bullet looks so I'm just gonna use that and yeah, so we're just gonna open up looks, uh, go to edit, open it up looks, and I'm just gonna pick any random color correction. Uh, let's see. Scroll down. I won't use this one, but uh, just for an example, uh, for time sake. Alright, so now that you got your color correction added on, uh, whether you use the Magic Bullet Looks or standard color corrections with like, right here, go to Effects and Color Correction, and you can use Curves and uh, Gamma and other stuff like that. So you need to change your composition settings, and you need to make sure it's at one second. So yeah, change it to one second, put it to a full resolution if it's not already there. You can leave a ratio and your width and height. And press OK. Uh, computer's a little slow. Press OK and let's see. Uh, now you're going to go to composition and add to render queue. Go to press lossless, and where the output module is, and for the format you're going to change it to a JPEG sequence, and format options, uh, you're going to have to vary with this because certain files can go over the limit, can go over a certain limit. So, um, like YouTube only supports a certain amount of uh, files um, from their format. So I'm just gonna go with maximum uh, JPEG sequence, and then you're gonna output to whatever you want to graffiti background. So yeah, you can leave your render settings alone and just press render. It, mine is at 30 for some reason, but we'll just uh, we'll just stop it once it hits the first frame. Like I said, it's a JPEG sequence, so if it goes over two, it's just gonna. Well, every time it renders, it's just gonna keep um, putting pictures. Like it's stopped at three, so it's probably gonna have three pictures on here. See? So it's a sequence. So we can just delete the first two. And yeah, now now you have your. 
color correction on your background to make it look a little more cleaner or a little nicer if you like want it that way like if your background wasn't that cool you maybe wanted to add a little bit more spark to it uh, this is a quick tip for it I just actually found out this ab about this uh, a little while ago so yeah, it's a good tip and yeah see you later guys peace